Hey, it's Rakasana here again. Uh, this tutorial is in regards to Steven Kotsky 92 um, about creating a loop while changing your materials. It's actually working on something very similar uh, for school. I'll hurry and just show you. Um, basically, I'm pressing Q and I can shuffle through red, green, and blue. And along with that, um, each one holds a variable behind it, which will change something to this cube right here. Um, so I thought I'd hurry and show you the logic behind it. Uh, if I need to go through and actually detail it and recreate it, I can for you. Um, but yeah, it seems like that's what you're asking. So let me go into blueprints and show you my logic. So everything is kind of going, going between these two. Um, you'll see it's a press queue right here, and it goes to this branch. And I'm using this variable called color state. Um, and with that, the logic behind it is I'm using 0, 1, and 2 to call what color I want. So after pressing Q, I go to this branch and check to see what the color state is at. If it is equal to 0, then that's true. And I'll come to this material, and I'll set it to blue, uh, similar to my last tutorial. Uh, it's the same way. And then um, the target is the same thing. I'm targeting your color, which is just this box above this guy, it's that little box. Um, let me go back into that. So yeah, so that's where I'm targeting from there. And then everything else um, is just creating a string so I can see uh, in the editor um, or within gameplay up in the top left to that uh, it's red or green or blue or whatever. Um, but yeah, so I'll, I'll walk through the rest of the logic. So uh, if it doesn't equal zero, um, then it's false, and it's going to go to this next branch and check to see if it's one. If it is one, then it comes to here, sets it to red. Um, if it isn't one, then it's false, and it will come to here and set it to green. Um, so that's how those are going through. So basically, you just have to be able to make this variable go up by an increment of 1 every time you press Q. So that is what this one's for. So this says if you press Q, it comes to this conditional branch and hurries and checks if it is greater than 2, which I'll get that to that in just a second. Um, but if it's not, then it will uh, grab the variable color state um, and it will add it by 1 right here. Um, so that means that you start at 0 and you add to 1 and then you add again to 2 which comes with this conditional. So if it's two or greater, then it is true. So will come to this and actually subtract it by two right here, and that'll bring you back down to zero. So that'll create this loop of going from zero to two and back to zero so that your colors can follow. So I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, I can try to remake the tutorial and actually build it for you. But I think really what's most important behind it all is just the logic and uh, seeing if you can kind of create that. Um, if you have any, any more questions, just let me know. Thanks.